Ever found yourself staring at a saving calculator, feeling like you're trying to decipher an alien language? You're not alone. It's a common conundrum and can be as perplexing as figuring out why the remote always disappears right when your favorite show starts. But hey, let's crack this code together. Today, we're going to delve into the fascinating world of personal finance, focusing specifically on personal finance rules for saving calculators. Fasten your seatbelts because we're going to make sense of these financial tools, their purpose, and how to use them effectively. Picture a saving calculator as a fortune teller of sorts. It's an online tool or mobile app that gives you a glimpse of your financial future. Based on the information you feed it, it estimates potential savings you could amass over time. Sounds magical, doesn't it? Well, it's not magic but mathematics. There are different types of saving calculators out there, each with its own special power. Some are compound interest calculators, others are retirement planning calculators, and there are even debt payoff calculators. Each has a unique role to play in helping you visualize your future savings, set realistic goals, and motivate you to adopt better saving habits. But, like any tool, saving calculators are not without their limitations. They rely heavily on the information you provide, which can sometimes lead to inaccuracies. For instance, you might assume a consistent income growth, ignore unexpected expenses or select unrealistic interest rates. Also, these calculators are just estimates and not guarantees. They don't consider individual financial situations such as debt payments, living expenses, or financial goals beyond savings. So how do you use these calculators effectively? Well, consider using multiple calculators for different purposes, input realistic and conservative assumptions, and remember to treat the calculations as estimates, adjusting based on your circumstances. But remember, a saving calculator is not the be-all and end-all solution to your financial planning. It needs to be supplemented with a comprehensive financial plan that includes income tracking, expense categorization, budgeting strategies, and long-term financial goals. Don't worry, by the end of this video, saving calculators will no longer be your nemesis. So, what exactly is a saving calculator? And no, it's not a calculator with a piggy bank icon on it. Instead, picture a digital tool, an app, or a website that's designed to give you a glimpse into your financial future. Intriguing, right? Let's start with the basics. Calculators are online tools or mobile apps that estimate potential savings based on your inputs. They are like your personal clairvoyance, only they see into your financial future. You feed in details like your current savings, monthly contributions, and the interest rate, and voila! You get a snapshot of your future savings. But not all saving calculators are created equal. Some are like Swiss Army knives, multifunctional and versatile. These are the compound interest calculators, retirement planning calculators, debt payoff calculators and more. Each type comes with its own flavor, tailored to cater to different saving needs. Now, on to the benefits. Why would you want to use a saving calculator? Well, for starters, they help you visualize your future savings. It's like having a crystal ball that shows you the magic of compound interest or the impact of that extra coffee you're buying every secondly they help you set realistic goals. They take your grand dreams of yachting around the Mediterranean and break them down into manageable monthly savings. Lastly, they can be a great motivator. When you see that your small contributions today could grow into a substantial sum in the future, it's like having your own personal, pushing you towards your saving goals. So, now that we know what a saving calculator is, let's dive into how to use them wisely. Remember, like any tool, they're only as good as the person using them. So, buckle up because we're about to embark on a journey to becoming a saving calculator guru. And hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips. Become a part of our learning community and let's conquer the world of finance together. Now, using a saving calculator isn't just about punching in numbers and hoping for the best. There's an art to it. Yes, you heard it right. These digital darlings can be your best friend or your worst enemy, depending on how you use them. You see, accuracy and assumptions are two key factors that make or break the effectiveness of saving calculators. These calculators are only as good as the information you feed them. They're not mind readers. They don't know if you're planning to splurge on that Caribbean cruise next summer, or if you're expecting a windfall from your eccentric billionaire aunt. Let's start with assumptions. Many calculators assume a consistent income growth. They happily project your savings into the future, assuming your income will rise steadily every year. But we all know life isn't a straight line. There can be bumps and dips along the way. Then there are the unexpected expenses. 
You know, those sneaky little costs that creep up when you least expect them. Your calculator can't predict if your car will need a costly repair, or if your pet iguana, Fred, will need an unexpected trip to the vet. And the interest rates. Many calculators let you input your own interest rate. This can be a double-edged sword. While it allows for customization, it can also lead to unrealistic expectations if you're overly optimistic. Remember, the financial market is more volatile than a toddler on a sugar rush. But don't let these limitations scare you away. Saving calculators are not fortune tellers, but they can be incredibly useful when used wisely. So, how can we use them effectively? Well, here are a few tips. First, don't put all your eggs in one calculator. Different calculators serve different purposes. Use a retirement calculator for your golden years, a debt payoff calculator for your loans, and a compound interest calculator for your investments. Variety is the spice of life after all. Second, be realistic and conservative with your assumptions. If you're unsure about an input, it's better to underestimate than overestimate. It's like packing for a vacation. It's better to have an extra pair of socks than to find out you've run out halfway through your trip. Lastly, treat the calculations as estimates, not guarantees. Adjust your savings plan based on your circumstances. If Fred the Iguana has a penchant for expensive vet visits, factor that into your saving strategy. Remember, a saving calculator is a tool, not a crystal ball. It's all about making informed estimates. It's like using a GPS, it can guide you, but you still need to steer the car and watch out for any roadblocks. So go ahead, give these calculators a whirl. Just remember to use them wisely and keep your expectations in check. So, we've mastered the saving calculator. But what about the rest of your financial journey? Well, my friends, it's time to look beyond the calculator. You see, a calculator can give you an estimate, a ballpark figure, but it can't capture the entire picture of your financial life. It's a tool, not a magic wand. But don't worry, we've got you covered. For starters, developing a comprehensive financial plan is key. This isn't just about how much you're saving, it's about understanding your income and expenses, categorizing them effectively, and setting up actionable budgeting strategies. It's about setting long-term financial goals that align with your dreams and aspirations. Now you might be thinking, that sounds like a lot of work, and you're not wrong. But remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is a sound financial plan. It requires time, patience, and consistency. Now let's talk about alternative strategies for saving because, let's face it, we all love a good hack, don't we? First up is the 52-week challenge. The idea is simple. You start by saving $1 in the first week, $2 in the second week, and so on. By the end of the year, you'll have saved a whopping $1,378. Next, we have automatic transfers. Now this is like your personal financial assistant. You set up a transfer from your checking account to your savings account every month, and voila, you're saving without even thinking about it. And then there is the envelope system. This old-school method involves allocating cash to different spending categories each month. It might seem a bit archaic in the digital age, but it's a great way to physically track your expenses and understand where your money is going. Finally, we come to professional guidance. Sometimes navigating the financial world can be like trying to find your way through a maze blindfolded. That's where a financial advisor comes in. They can provide personalized advice tailored to your unique circumstances, especially if you're dealing with complex financial situations. Remember, your financial journey is about more than just a number on a calculator. It's a holistic process that involves understanding your financial landscape, setting realistic goals, and implementing effective strategies to achieve those goals. So, while a savings calculator is a great tool, it's just one piece of the puzzle. It's like trying to complete a jigsaw with only the corner pieces. You need all the pieces to see the full picture. And that, dear friends, is life beyond the calculator. It's about taking charge of your financial future, making informed decisions, and ultimately, achieving financial freedom. Remember, your financial journey is about more than just a number on a calculator. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance tips and tricks.